Hello everybody and welcome to my afterthoughts video, this time regarding Creed. As you guys already know, I really liked the movie. It was a big surprise to me, a positive surprise that I liked the movie so much. Um, I was a little bit afraid that they would just use the Rocky character to boost their own movie, you know, and just have Rocky as a little side character. And I would not have liked seeing that, but that was not the case. I have to say, um, they did a very good job integrating Rocky and Rocky was just as important as the main character. And I thought it was very clever to introduce this illegitimate child of Apollo Creed and make him um, the main character that was very clever and I think it worked so it was a, a great experience. Now of course the reason why Creed was so successful and the reason why I loved it is because all those famous Rocky elements were in the movie you know. First you had of course the character Rocky himself that's very important and as I have mentioned he was just as important as the main character Adonis so that was great and then we had the famous um, Rocky kick-ass montage the training montages you know even though it was a, a Creed montage I guess but uh, maybe it wasn't quite as inspirational as the Rocky montages that we have seen in the past but it still worked you know and we had some great parallels in the in the Rocky movies we saw hundreds of people chasing Rocky when he was jogging, you know, and in Creek we had all the bikes um, following Adonis, so that was a nice little parallel. And then we had the famous Rocky life lessons, you know, that was just so incredible. We had Rocky say, pointing to the mirror, you know, and say, this is your toughest opponent in boxing and in life. It's you, yourself, you are your own toughest opponent so that's a great lesson right there and then he said another one was when he said you can't learn if you keep talking you know because if you're talking you're not listening and I think that that, that was a very wise piece of uh, information because I personally know a lot of people they should talk a lot less and listen a lot more so that was a, a great lesson and then of course there was a lot of rocky humor in this movie and i just loved the rocky humor that was great we saw rocky dancing you know five o'clock in the morning getting adonis up for his training that was fun and then they were at one point they were talking about not walking naked in the apartment you know that was funny and then when they were chasing the chicken and he finally grabbed the chicken Rocky was just shaking his head like, yeah, the chickens are slowing down. <laughs> and then when uh, Rocky was talking about the room that Adonis uh, moved in, you know, he said, well, it belonged to my best friend, even though he wasn't so friendly. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, that was funny. And which reminded me that was actually a big surprise to learn at the beginning that um, Polly also passed on and Rocky really is alone now. So that was a, a, another surprise. But on the other hand, we had this traditional feel good ending of the movie, just as we are used to from the Rocky movies. And maybe it wasn't quite as inspirational achievement, feel good feeling as we know from the Rocky endings, but it still worked because it was never really about winning. It was about overcoming obstacles. And for Adonis, of course, it was about proving that he was not a mistake. So this movie definitely had plenty of lighthearted moments in this Creed movie, but at the same time, also very, very heavy hearted moments in this movie. I mean, of course, the most heartbreaking scene was when Rocky was diagnosed with cancer and he got the news from his doctor and oh man that was just devastating you know and, and again I have to say um, Stallone's acting in this moment fantastic you could see all the pain in his face because you know he remembered his late wife going through this whole cancer therapy and chemotherapy and everything. 
and and it just made him so sad and you know he said i don't want to do chemotherapy I, I i'm gonna die it's okay i'm okay with it and he meant it you know he was in that moment okay with it and that was just so brutal to see because we all know this young rocky character who is unbreakable you know he would never give up never ever would he give up and now you see him you know 30 or 40 years later giving in to cancer so so quickly you know and it was just it was brutal to see and then he makes it even worse by telling adonis that yeah we're not really family you know pushing everybody <laughs> A way that was uh, yeah it was it was hard to see um, so whoever had the idea of introducing this element of cancer to the Rocky franchise or to the character of Rocky was was a genius it was very good because he had something to fight for and and Adonis had something to fight for because there was this inspirational moment coming out of it when Adonis was sitting down saying that I am not going to fight if you are not going to fight. And that was an amazing moment. And Rocky was thinking about it and then he gives him the, the fist bump and they together decide that each of them is gonna fight their circumstances, you know. Rocky is gonna find, fight the cancer and, and Adonis is gonna fight that boxer from uh, Liverpool. So that was a, a great moment. And it also reminded me of those two lines, you know. Um, one line was said in the, the Rocky Balboa movie, he was talking to his kids saying, nothing hits harder than life, you know? And that was just a perfect example right there, you know, getting cancer. I mean, it is so true. Nothing hits as hard as life. And then the second line was from, from the Creed movie. Probably my favorite line of the movie was when he was talking about beating Apollo Creed and why he, he beat him because of time and then he says time is undefeated wow you know ponder on that you know time is undefeated and that kind of makes you think about your own mortality you know it, it's because if you watch rocky you know and i'm aware that rocky won and rocky uh, creed won so Rocky one to Creed one. It's like 40 years in, be in, in between, you know, and you saw this young Rocky Unbreakable and now you see this older Rocky, you know, giving in to cancer and I remember myself in Switzerland being this young guy also unbreakable, you know, and now I'm living in the greatest nation on on the planet and you know, I'm older too and I'm facing time, you know. So, and, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing. That's, that's a good thing, you know, it makes you think. All I'm trying to say here is this movie made me think. And that's a good thing because most movies nowadays, they don't even aim that, that, that high, you know. They just wanna, I don't know what they wanna do, entertain, if they're not really succeeding in that either, you know. So I appreciate a movie that makes you think, so. That was good stuff. And then um, what else? Maybe two moments that I remember. Oh, this one moment is when, when Adonis was um, knocked down and he was laying lifeless on the canvas, you know, and then he had these flashbacks. And the last thing he saw was his father, Apollo Creed in the ring, you know, surviving. And then suddenly he just got up and the commentator even said, Adonis just got up like he's possessed, like a man possessed, you know? And I thought, yeah, that's what I thought too. And I, I think for a moment there, I think he was possessed by his father's spirit that made him get up and fight on, you know? And I was just wondering if that was the, the writer's or the filmmaker's intention or if, if that was just a thought I had, but uh, it, it doesn't matter, it worked for me. It was great, he got up, you know? and. The second moment I remember that I want to uh, say something was uh, that nugget that we got. Who won the third fight between, you know, Rocky and Apollo? And of course, Rocky says that 
Apollo 1, which was not a surprise to me at all. It would have been a surprise if it would have been the other way around, because Apollo was clearly the better boxer. We all know that. I mean, technically speaking, Apollo was much better. But Rocky, you know, Rocky always won because of his heart, you know, and his his unwillingness to give in. I mean, Rocky just, he, he was not willing to give up ever, ever. He just went for it, you know. And now you think about having some private, friendly fight, you know. You're not gonna fight like your freaking life depends on, right? You're gonna have a friendly fight. And of course, Apollo's technical boxing will take over. So it wasn't a surprise to hear that Apollo won. So that was a, a nice little nugget that they revealed that so I have to say, the entire um, Creed movie was a great experience to watch. I really, really liked it. I'm looking forward to um, Creed 2. And there was also a lot of talk about Philly cheese steak sandwiches, you know, and Jessica mentioned it a few times. And I tell you, as soon as we finished our reaction, we jumped into the car and we got our Philly cheese steak sandwiches. And I even took a little clip I'm going to show you right now. But um, thanks for being here and we'll see you again for uh, Creed 2. Okay, take care. Bye bye. So we just finished watching Creed and... We saw, oh, there was a lot of talk about Philly cheese steak. There we go. Woo! Delicious! Cannot wait!